Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob. Listen, um, this is from what is called the Illuminati card game. It came out in, from what I understand, it originally came out in the 70s. They did some of it in the 80s, but the uh, versions I saw came out in the mid-90s. I think around 94, 95, 96, somewhere around there. Uh, the first card is... Uh, 9-11. 9-11, everybody. Twin Towers and, uh, well, you know, uh, the uh, Pentagon. And the uh, Pentagon, the office that was doing an audit on some several billion dollars that vanished, well, it was blown up. And, of course, all the records were lost. And, boom, there you go. It was lost. So, you know. All right, the next one, Las Vegas, uh, Mandalay Bay. Anybody? The the Las Vegas shooting. Uh, do you find it strange that the uh, Las Vegas coroner uh, wouldn't put out any hardly any information? There was just an absolute clampdown on what was going on, and um, you know uh, that was. Uh, you know, I still don't know if it was real or if it was fake. I I don't know. You know, I've heard people say that there was multiple shooters, uh, helicopters flying around. You know, who, who knows what's going on? It's hard to tell nowadays, isn't it? So, um, but, you know, what can I tell you? This was in the 90s, people. Uh, all right, so the next one to come out is... Pizza, pizza, anybody? Pizzagate. Um, I find it very interesting that uh, Pizzagate's tied in with, you know, people like Weinstein and Epstein and, uh, you know, what can I tell you? Now, looking at the pizza, there is, uh, do you notice that the... Uh, there's the uh, that little Hebrew lettering there. If memory serves me correctly, that is the Hebrew lettering for the name of God. I don't know. I, I could be wrong about that, but, you know, what can I tell you? So, you know, uh, that was in the news, and then it just died out. You know, Pizzagate. Yeah. You know, it's really sad that uh, those like uh, Epstein just kind of like, you know, did he even die? I mean, maybe he's he was whisked away to the Israeli state. You know, you notice the, uh, the recording, the microphone on the pizza? Well, you know, that's what they do. They, they get the politicians in there and uh, record them with these underage girls or boys, for that matter, and then threaten to put it out on their uh, in their news media. Anybody see The Godfather? Remember The Godfather? How uh, they set up the the uh, the congressman or whatever he was, and you know the the girl died, and they says, "Don't worry about it. We'll take care of this. You know, no problem." So, uh, yeah. You uh, play our game or you suffer the consequences. All right, the next card, the Trump card. Um, just a coincidence, right? You know, I heard somebody say that presidents are not elected, but rather they are selected. Yeah. You know, there's a reason why he was on The Apprentice TV show and all these things. No, I never watched that garbage, but, you know, the news media, the TV stations were always constantly pushing all that, you know. Oh, yeah, let's watch, um, you know, uh, you know, Donald and this and that and the other. And, you know, what can I tell you? But um, that's, you know, what can I what can I tell you? But, uh, yeah, I got, I got ahead of myself here with the uh, Pizzagate. And right now should come the Trump card.
Trump card, yay. So, uh, you know, everybody was uh, thinking, oh boy, joy, we got Trump for president. We, we didn't get Hillary or whatever. But it turns out that uh, he's one of them. You know, red flag laws, and now they're putting all the stuff in place for um, all this uh, health scare th stuff going around. You know, and I found out that uh, he's going to give money, big money, to some of these cruise lines that's owned by an Israeli dual citizen. I mean, you're talking hundreds of millions of dollars. So, and then they say, oh, well, we're going to give you uh, peons a thousand bucks. Yeah, right. So, what can I tell you? All right, people. Uh, Corona, anybody? No, not the beer with the lime, but um, the virus thing, right? So far, I've seen no indication that this thing is the killer that they're making it out to be. But, um, you know quarantines coronavirus uh, what can i tell you you know uh the medical martial law now this was done in the, the the 90s people you know you think about it so you know what can i tell you but uh yeah it's unbelievable but uh they're doing lockdowns everywhere and you know, next thing you know it, um, they'll be banning cash to keep from having this virus spread. Probably leading to 666, the mark of the beast, right? Which has been the plan all along. Medical martial law. You know, if Hillary would have done it, uh, the patriots would have rose up and fought probably, right? But, you know, we're all on the Trump train um, just remember something, people. When you're uh, on railroad tracks, the light at the end of the tunnel is probably an incoming train, right? So, all right, well, just imagine if the, uh, what happens when, if everybody's quarantined and there's no trucks delivering food and uh, the welfare tr uh, stops, the food stamps green cards, I mean, green, uh, food stamps stop, uh, what's going to happen, you know? Well, that's that's a simple, uh, that's a very simple thing to figure out. It's called civil unrest, riots. Hey, we got a card for that too, you know? Um, you know, just imagine, what's, you know, this is not 1929, People still had respect for each other when they had the Great Depression. Nobody had any money. Uh, people oftentimes grew their own food. That ain't like that now. Everybody's packed into cities. And uh, if trucks can't make food deliveries, well, guess what? We're going to have riots. And uh, that would be perfect for uh, martial law, right? And uh, it's probably been the plan all along. And what good are your guns and bullets going to do you when you don't have any food? Even better yet, turn on the 5G, which is microwave frequency, and cook them. Or chemtrail them. Or cut off their food and watch them starve to death. Or their water. Cut their water off. You know, simple. Number nine. Uh, depopulation. Well, guess what? Between uh, chemtrailing and 5G and maybe spreading people with a real plague, I don't know if Corona's it, but, uh, you know, we can get rid of some of you useless eaters, as they call us. Uh, you know, what can I tell you? Um, Revelation 8.11, And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became wood, Wormwood, and many men died, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. All right, uh, depopulation people, it's in the Bible, believe me. All right, now, how about uh, this next card coming up? 
frogs. How about Revelation 16, 13? And I saw three unclean spirits, unclean spirits like frogs, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. So you have the unholy trinity, you know, you've got the holy trinity, well, the Godhead, God the Father, the only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, guess what? In the unholy trinity, you've got the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. Ooh. So, you know, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. And last but not least, the guillotine. Now, where have I read that in the Bible? Ah, well, maybe not a guillotine, but Revelation 20 and verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. Ooh. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. And that, people, is only the introduction. A thousand years is only an introduction. And then after that, eternity is, you know, not going to be measured with time anymore. So, all right, well, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, John eight twelve people, you know it by heart by now. Blessings to Christ. In his name, amen.